So many challenges, so many objectives from executive suites, so many metrics. Contact center management is a complex business with a lot of moving parts and people. So how can you use metrics in a way that makes your customers feel more satisfied, your employees happier, your company more successful, and your own career path better? This video will give you five tips on how to leverage metrics for operational excellence. Tip number one, learn which metrics are important for you. Not all metrics are alike. There is no one size fits all for metrics that fit every contact center operation. Understanding which metrics are important in your competitive industry and based on your employer's market strategy is the key issue for leveraging metrics appropriately and successfully. Certain metrics are going to define your success more than others, given the competitive landscape you occupy. Think about your customers, your industry position, and then consider which metrics are key for you. For example, if you're in the high-end travel and leisure industry, you're going to gravitate toward quality metrics like average speed of answer, first call resolution, and customer satisfaction, all of which will point towards high-touch performance needed to win business and grow. If you are a low cost provider in the consumer goods field, you will want to excel in efficiency metrics that focus on self-service or workforce productivity metrics, such as occupancy, utilization, adherence to schedule or handle time. If you are a government agency or a nonprofit, you may choose metrics that define success through employee satisfaction, maintaining good relations with labor unions, and avoiding complaints in combination with efficiency or cost metrics that allow you to operate inside of annual budget parameters. Here's a pro tip. Be sure you really understand the definitions of the metrics and how they are collected. Otherwise, your analyses will be faulty and your corrective actions may be flawed. You will need to go to the glossaries of your technology systems reports and review them carefully. And don't hesitate to ask your technology suppliers for answers if the definitions are not clear to you. This is very important. Tip number two, understand how you compare. Meeting defined metric goals tell you what you are performing. To understand how you are performing, you must know how you compare to centers who do like or similar work by benchmarking your center's performance against the statistically appropriate peer group. To use a medical analogy, Looking at metrics in a vacuum is like seeing your blood panels, such as your cholesterol levels, with only your stats, but not having a comparison to the normal range data. See what I mean? It's not very useful. You need that comparative data to tell you how you are doing. In fact, trying to act on metrics in a vacuum can lead to bad outcomes. For example, managers who are focused on bringing down handle time to save money may see negative side effects such as decreased first contact resolution, customer satisfaction, and agent satisfaction. Benchmarking your metrics against peers gives you a reality test you need to judge performance based on how others in your peer group are performing. Tip number three, connect the dots. Connecting the dots means connecting underperforming metrics to people, processes, and technologies that may be responsible for the poor performance. This is where the magic happens, as long as you understand the relationship of metrics to each other. For example, poor performance in occupancy, utilization, and adherence will point you to issues with your workforce management. This may lead you to make changes to how you communicate with your people, how you hold them accountable, how you organize your scheduling processes and whether you consider upgrading your workforce management technology. Here's a pro tip. Managers often find themselves too close to their own metrics to connect all of the dots. So best practices suggest getting expert help to be sure you're making the right connections. Tip number four, prioritize and improve. Prioritize improvement initiatives according to the low hanging fruit principle. Execute on things that have the biggest bang for the buck first. The easiest fixes that cost the least. Track the results carefully and regularly and pursue more expensive or complex solutions only after you have logged some quick wins. 
Be sure to focus your team on specific actions and results. Get everyone rowing in the same direction. And tip number five, celebrate. Perhaps most importantly, be sure to make the time and budget allocations necessary to celebrate victories and let everyone in your organization know the progress your team has made and what this means to your center's performance and your organization's mission. This will help you to create a positive culture of continuous improvement based on metrics, which is a wonderful culture to develop and to work with. The methodology set out in this video is simple but powerful. It can really get results you are looking for, results characteristic of excellent centers. It can involve a lot of work, but the work is worth it. And the great part of working with metrics is your progress is measurable by definition. At Benchmark Portal, we've been doing this every day for over 25 years and know the great satisfaction the managers experience when they follow these tips. Let us know if we can be of assistance as you let metrics guide you to operational excellence.